Okay, so I'm currently going to scan a hand bus that I got for my wife for our anniversary. It's not big, so I'll leave it as medium. It's not texture, it's a brass object, so I use geometry. I want high quality, don't need no colour, and we'll do a new scan. <coughs> so, as you can see, I've got a pen just in front of it, and this will act as the uh, bit I need to remove. If it, as long as it picks it up, I might need to move it a bit closer. Have it actually touching the object. There we go. I'll have it standing up like that, and then I will remove that part of the pen and show you what I mean. So you want to go and start. and catch as much as you can in these images to make sure that all of these areas go green so when you move it out of the area you want all of that to be green so I'll just try and do one revolution of this Complete this scan. Complete scanning, yes. If we don't want to do its auto one, you want to come around and do manual and then let it mesh. So it's taken the pen out, but what I'll do is I'll use the scan box to get rid of. So we just select the lasso. You can either have square lasso or a circle one which you can define with a square one would be something if you want to say press shift and you want to cut everything off below that line you can you just click delete and for this purpose that would work for both that and that but most of the time we're going to use our lasso so you literally just shift, circle around the item, and then click delete. You can zoom in, so where the pen is up here, we'll zoom in. And we will move it around slightly, so we don't get as much of the finger. And then again, shift, and then literally just pencil down as tight as you can get to the finger wrap it around and then delete you could do this for as long as you like to tidy up all the little bits of artifacts you'll find or you can just do the big bits you don't like once you've done that you'll click the process button that will mesh it for its final time and give you your what would be a solid file for you to then send to your printer this is obviously just a quick scan showing you how to do this but this will all come up as big holes because I haven't got the undersurface of the model so that's the bit where we cut the pen off and obviously there's all the bits sorry future Bradley I forgot to mention, if you click on the tabs on the right hand side, one of them is optimization settings. This will take you back to allow you to edit even more off of the mesh if you wanted to take more off. And if we go back to there, we've got as it was before we cut it. We can go again with the lasso. So if we didn't want this finger, because it was not part of the item that we're scanning, simply select it, delete it, and then we go back through the meshing again, and then that part of it will be gone. So you can literally go back and forward as much as you like to try and clean it up 
as much as you want until you're satisfied with it to be able to send out to your 3D printer. Again, there's that thing we removed. And if that was more of an issue, say you wanted to clean up the thumb, you could just go back, click on the little arrow, and it will take you straight back again. And you can keep on doing this loop again and again and again until you're as happy as you like. So I hope that helped. Uh, any other problems, leave me a comment or send me a message on Facebook and I'll be happy to help.